Yes, thank you very much. We are back to complex numbers again. <laughs> um, yes, you mentioned our project. Thank you very much that I, I have the possibility and the opportunity to give a presentation about our project, which is now in a better version and it's, it's online in a better version. And we are working still a little bit on it to make it more perfect. We worked it, we developed it with some students, which are mentioned here, which were involved in, 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 in the didactics, in, 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 um, in the videos, in developing the tasks and, and, and so on. So I want, with my presentation, I want to give you first a small introduction and, and the structure of the learning module. And then I was in point two, three and four, uh, I will give you a small, yes, a small overview of what we are doing, which learning elements we have using JSX graph. And then I will give you a, a small summary. So the objectives of our learning mod module is that the students have difficult it's, it's, it's very difficult for the students to learn complex numbers, to understand the complex numbers and the calculations and, and to visualize it. And, and so and, and it's, a, it's a problem both in mathematics as well as in electrical engineering. So we were in contact with the lecturers of the electrical engineering course um, who had as well, they were very interested in our learning module to, to take it for their lecture as well. So it's for two lectures we developed it. So it, it, we wanted to support the students in learning and understanding as well. And therefore the visualization is very important. We have it implemented in a Moodle learning environment. It's a Moodle and learning environment for pre-courses we use at our university. It's, it's called Via Mint, and I, I, I have given you the link here. It's free use for students and for, for teachers as well. Um, so our for the pre-courses, they take this module as well to have a little view what will go, what is going on in the first semester. So the, the structure of the learning modules, I will show you here. It's a um, learning module which is working with a chapter substract, sub chapter chapter structure you see here on the left part this are the contents and in each sub chapter we have a learning sequence like is shown here it's consisting of explanation videos with this picture here and then we have small interactive exercises which are in between the videos so that the um, a student, the learner could direct after the video, uh, he could try what he has learned if he understood what he has learned in the video. This is not put in, in Moodle because we don't, we, we, our intention was that it's a direct use and they uh, should not go in a Moodle and have some clicks more. So it's, it's evaluated directly here. I will show you in, in the next point. And then we have um, in-depth exercises, which are put at the end of the lecture. Then we are going into a Moodle system and using, using the Moodle questions, the stack questions and, and JSX graph as well in the Moodle questions. And here in the small interactive exercises, we are using JSX graph uh, as well, but it's not going into the Moodle. And then we have developed an interactive applet which we, which is linked uh, under the learning sequence and which we are motivating as well in the videos where we are explaining the calculation, but as well the visualization at 
using the applet. So um, what I mentioned, I mentioned, I think I mentioned all. Additionally, we have in the module a collection of formulas and, and application examples and so on, which which is very good for a module, but there we don't use the JSX graph. Um, yeah, I think I have mentioned all what is written here. These small interactive exercises in between the learning videos, I will show you now. Uh, they are directly located behind the explanatory videos and they we want to check the understanding it's implemented in html and, and javascript and this allows an easy integration integration of jsx graph the results of the interaction are then evaluated using html and we are if it's necessary we are going uh, to a computer algebra library but it's only for some questions where it's it's needing to have a CAS system, not for all the questions. I show you here some, it's it's a little bit small, but it's it's only in a small overview overview. The the upper three questions here, they are using JSX graph. We have as well some other questions for calculating and and entering a number or multiple choice, or here is a calculating exercise as well. I will go now in one of the uh, of the exercises using JSX graph. I will take this one here in the middle and I will go a little bit more in detail in this question. It's a question at the beginning where the to, to learn the complex numbers, to, to learn the exponential description and, and the, uh, the position in the, in the diagram, in the Gaussian sign uh, in. So they have to, to put, I will show you some, it's now it's not, not live, I can go at the end of the, Ta talk, I will go into the environment, then we can put some points here. I have all here now some slides to, to present you. So the, the learner should move the points at the correct, correct position for the exponential um, representation here in the, in the task. And then he has to move the points he is to, to to push the button then and then it's evaluated and he's getting a feedback. He can try it again here at this, in these tasks, we have no randomization because we would, and it's, it's only a small, we have no hints. It's only a small feedback here because we, we give them the opportunity to try again. In the, it's possible here now then to, to see uh, the solution. If we don't want to try again, he could see the solution and could uh, then go further with the learning sequence. Then we have uh, computed um, an applet for the complex numbers. It's in the web, you can find a lot of applets doing each of the applets is doing one part. It's doing addition, it's doing multiplication, it's doing uh, uh, calculating roots and, and, and so, on, so on. And with polar coordinates or Cartesian coordinates, we want to have it all in one. This is my, <laughs> this is my third point here. It, it's because we want, yeah, we want it all in one and not to, to have this and this and this uh, diff different applets. So we, we put all in one. It's for the student to try and practice. So we have combined it a little bit with the exercises and we use it as well for the visualization 
in the explanation videos. So there is done first a calculation and then it's it's the, the meaning what is what uh, is shown then in the graphic. The implementation um, we have, I will show you, yeah, perhaps it's better I show you direct at the <laughs> screenshot of the applet. Um, this is the look, the user interface of the applet developed using JSX graph. So we have, First, we have here an area for visualization um, and as well for graphical input of the complex numbers. It's displaying the result, but you can, could, can as well move the points of the input complex numbers. Um, so we have both. And then we have here in the upper part here, an area for num numerical input of the complex numbers for ca Cartesian and as well for polar co coordinates. And here you can see we can have it as well in degrees or in radians, or, and we can as well change the coordinate system from Cartesian to polar. It's not for the input, it's, it's in beneath here, it's for the graphic display. And then we can choose the calculation operation from addition to, to, to square roots, everything you want in the basics you want, want to do with complex numbers. So this is the area for selecting the calculation operation. And then we have a area for displaying the numerical result the graphical result I, I told you is in the left part. And then we can, um, we have a button here to calculate. It's a, it's a blue button, which is calculating. We take the operation and we calculate. It's, it's as well possible to have a live preview of the result if you take this checkbox here, then you are see directly the result if you are moving the red point here the green result arrow is, is, is working, is going to the result place. I can, can go, I think I will have a little bit time to, to go in the applet after my presentation. Here I have shown you a use, a small use of the applet. It, um, it's, a, it's a video for the exponential form, which is introduced here. It's introduced the multiplication in complex, in in a, in an exponential form, and after this, it's shown the same example here. It's shown what's the meaning of the result. Then at the end of the learning sequence, we have the in the in depth exercises where are a lot uh, more questions, a lot of questions, more que questions that depends on the learning sequence. And there we, we use the Moodle. So it's, they have more questions because they should deepen the understanding of the learn content. And there we get an um, instant feedback, a detailed feedback. Um, and it's a run randomization after these questions so that the students can uh, have more and other questions if they take the, uh, the exercise uh, a second time. It's implemented in uh, Moodle and we use as well Stack and Maxima and, and JSX graph. We have as well some other Moodle questions and some other stack questions without JSX graph. I think it's necessary to have a mixture of questions to, to have interesting questions. So multiple choice and drag and drop and, and JSX graph, I think it's, it's necessary to have not only one question type. So JSX graph, we use for interactive input and for, for visualization. And as well here in the back, we use it 
for uh, as a graphic in the in the feedback and the feedback graphics are adopted to the specific values and there we use JSX graph as well. The graphical input, uh, so the JSX graph is it's connected with stack and I think it's it's a very very good uh, very good connection to have both to have a JSX graph input and to have uh, an, an evaluation with a cast system. I think it's it's a very good solution. Um, so we have then the opportunity to have a feedback feedback tree of stack to to give mm -hmm. to give uh, the results and to give hints about about the solution, what is wrong and what is what is correct. Yeah, I think it's, I have mentioned everything I wanted to do here. We can have a look at one example. I would like to show you here. No, I do, don't want to show you this here. I want to show you some examples and then we will go into detail in one example. So here as well in the stack, questions we have the positioning here in this part for the Cartesian coordinates to, to locate. We have here uh, complex numbers with polar coordinates to locate the points here as well. Conversion of coordinates to combining complex numbers with a, with a uh, Zeno's function. And I want to go in this question where we, we take the fourth root of a complex number. And this is shown here in more detail. We position these complex numbers here in a normal way. We don't use some, some, some buttons that are creating the vectors. We position the four complex numbers. So, we gave the students a hint, you have four, <laughs> four solutions, but I have written it here. It's a, this is the, 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 I wanted that they could locate it and not that they found out that I have four solutions, but the positioning of the, of the pointers is now here, the task. So they are positioning by, by dragging and dropping the point. Perhaps they will create it like this. Then they will get a feedback and there is a detailed feedback is possible. It's the first and the second solution, they are correct. At the thir third solution, we can see as well the real part and the imaginary part, they are both wrong. And for the third, uh, for the fourth solution, we see that only one of the coordinates is wrong. Then they get a, a solution that's written in detail. So learning by reading the solution, they, they, are, they will get an, a graphics, which is shown here. And in the Moodle environment, it's possible to have here a button, please give me a, the same question with, un, with other um, numbers I've not shown here. So they, it, it's learning by reading the solution if they were not able to do this and then to have a, a question like this with other numbers. So in, in, in summary, and then we can have a, a small look perhaps in the online learning environment. Um, we presented here a complex numbers. It's, it's not ready, the module, we are working on it. We are working on some more JSX graph tasks because we started a little bit late to, to create, to develop these tasks. Um, it's, it's very useful for in-depth understanding and it's developed with a financial support from the Hamburg Open Online University. And it's available now in a better version. We are still working a little bit on it, but it's 
usable in a beta version and it's a free use for all of you if you want. <laughs> um, it's, it's usable for as anonymous and as well for creating, you can create an account. It's, it's both, both possible. So thank you very much. I will not say because we can have a small look in the online learning environment. Um, I think you can see it now, is it correct? Yes. Yeah? Okay, okay, fine. So it's the, I hope I'm, I'm still logged in. <laughs> this is a login page. So it's, we use it for our pre-courses. So it's necessary that that's available for everyone. Uh, that are not uh, students, so it's, it's possible for, for everyone to use. So here you can use it as anonymous and you can create an account by yourself and you can use it as uh, with a university, university account as well. So in, in the mathematics area, we have then the, the complex numbers to, to select perhaps, I, oh, I have to, yeah, okay. You can select here the, the complex numbers and there I want to go into now. I have here now shown the 1.1 1. 1. 1 sub chapter where we have the learning sequence here with videos and small interactive exercises. And I think here the Last one should be a question. We have here some other questions, which are here we, we use the GeoGebra, but we want to, to change it to, to JSX graph. Some other questions here. And here we have a JSX graph question where it's possible then to, to, to drag the points and to have both solutions here. You can here have then the solution to have a look if everything went well. For the 1.2, I have here um, an exercise here at the, I think as well at the end. For positioning, I, I've shown you here to, posi to position here the, the numbers and it's then doing the same, perhaps I should do a correct one. And it's displayed here, which, which of the position is correct and which not. Perhaps, yes, we have a square root here as well, perhaps uh, we can go here now at the end of the learning sequence, we are going into the Moodle questions. And then we will have here, uh, oh, it went, went wrong. <laughs> so I will, I will take another one here. I'm direct here, you can see I'm in the Moodle navigation here with the hints or the formula inputs. And we have here, it's some, some very, it's a very easy question, which the students here should solve. And it's then here going into the Moodle, checking and then the Moodle feedback here. And perhaps it's, as a last point, I will show you here the, the applet, which, which is shown here, where we have um, the input fields. And I have here now the checkbox. I entered the checkbox here with a live preview of the results. So we can here have uh, the subtraction. We can take here. Uh -huh. I can, yeah, so six, six multiplication and here the square root. Oh, it's, oh, it's 
going, something going wrong. But, oh yes, I, I've broken that plot. Perhaps it will work now. Yes. Uh, perhaps I will show you the square root. I can take the number of the square root. I can here now calculate the results and the results are going, are, are shown here. I can enter it as well um, in the input fields. And if I, no, it's, I take here the live foreshow, the numbers, the roots are shown here in, in changing then the, the complex number. Okay, I think I'm ready now. You see my presentation now again? Yes. Yeah? yes. Okay, thank you very much. It's my, <laughs> my last sentence, yeah. Thank <laughs> you.